Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we go to Thornton, Colorado and we go to Costco because we want to know what whiskey or how much whiskey or just how good whiskey we can get for $300 here at Costco. So there's going to be probably some bourbon, maybe some scotch, maybe some Canadian or maybe some Tennessee. And we're going to see what we can get for $300. So let's go ahead and go on in and see what we can find. Thornton, Colorado Costco is just north of Denver, about 30 minutes on the highway here. It's a pretty big Costco. Uh, it has a decent size of selection compared to other Costco's. But what I really like about Costco and whiskey is that it is always for the best prices as well. So let's go ahead and see, go over to the whiskey aisle and see exactly what they have here. So this is the aisle where most of the whiskey you'll find in Costco is. There's a little bit of tequila on the left and some of the scotch. Uh, but there's a lot of like bourbon and American single malt here. As you can see, you're seeing, they do have Yellowstone. Uh, and it is 108 proof single malt, which is quite high for an American single malt in my opinion. That is 39.99, but it's it's not my type of whiskey. Not a big fan of American single malt in general. So they also have this Cascade Moon. This is aged 15 years, barrel proof, coming in at 39.9% ABV. So they can't legally call it whiskey because whiskey has to be 40% ABV, and this is 39.9. So they're actually calling it spirits distilled from grain there. Uh, I think this comes from Dickel, if I'm not mistaken. It does say the Cascade Moon, which is part of Dickel, like the Cascade Moon distillery is Dickel, but it doesn't necessarily say that I can see on the bottle here. But it is coming in at the sweet, sweet price of $99.99, which is pretty crazy value for money for something that's not even classed as whiskey. But it is aged 15 years. You're probably better off getting a Dickel single barrel 15 years for like $60 instead. I would pass on that. And then as we move across, you see that they do have Sagamore Spirits, Sherry Finished. So this is the Sherry Finished Rye. This is 64 point uh, $64.99 coming in at 53% ABV or 106 proof it doesn't say the age of it but it does say a blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in a PX sherry barrel tells you a little bit more about the whiskey on the back there and for $64.99 I think we'll get this this is definitely right up my street and I love Sago I've never tried the sherry finished rye but I know because it's at Costco this is an excellent price for that so this is a whiskey that we featured on the Whiskey Cove before, but for all the wrong reasons. So this is a collaboration with Dickel and Leopold Bros, coming in at 50% ABV or 100 proof. Not a great taste in whiskey at all, and probably more so in like the 30 and $40 bracket. They do have it at Costco over $79.99, which is insane because everywhere else this is like $110, $120. It just seems to be just sitting on shelves everywhere right now. And they have a bunch of it here, but I would pass for that price. It's just not worth it. They also have some Whistle Pig single barrel rye aged 10 years there, coming in at 53.4% or 106.8 proof. I don't particularly like the Whistle Pigs, if I'm completely honest. I think this is the one that I've tried before. It might not be the aged 10 years, but I, it just wasn't for me. And I think this, you know, we're paying $90. It's a bit of a risk. That would absolutely blow our budget. They also have this cool little three pack here. They have the small batch rye 10 years. They have the Whistle Pig aged 12 years. And they also have the barrel aged maple syrup in collaboration with Run Amok Maple. However, that is again, that is $100 there. So that would also blow our budget, but super interesting. I've never seen that before. But if you're looking for something more dickly, like we have seen the other two, which I think are a waste of money, the, the dickle collaboration with Leopold Bros and then the Cascade Moon, this actual dickle is pretty damn good for what you're getting. It's aged eight years and it is a dickle bourbon. So it's not their Tennessee whiskey. Uh, and for the value of $25.99, I just think this is phenomenal value for money. This always seems to be here and always seems to be at such a great price. So I think we're gonna get this. This is 45% alcohol and 90 proof. And again, see, Cascade Hollow Distillery. So that other one wasn't called Dickel, it just said Cascade Hollow. But this is Dickel's Cascade Hollow Distillery. That's why I think that other one is Dickel as well. So I have these two bottles here. One is Cascade Moon, Mellow and Moonlight, and then one is the George Dickel Bourbon. As you can see here, Cascade Hollow Distillery. And if we go to the side on this one, right at the bottom here, I'll bring it into focus, it says distilled by Cascade Hollow Distilling Company. It doesn't say anywhere about Dickel on this bottle, but this is from the Cascade Hollow Distilling Company. And this case is the Cascade Hollow Distillery. So I think what Dickel did, instead of just blending this into some of their other products, and they couldn't use it because it's not 40% ABV, they just kind of sold it maybe to a third party. Uh, this Cascade Moon has kind of 
put on this brand. It sounds a little bit like Dickel, but you can't charge $100 for this bottle when you can get it with a different label that says Dickel on it. It's a single barrel. It is 15 years also, and you're going to be paying $60. I'll put the picture on the screen of the one I'm talking about. So yeah, definitely give this a miss. Even at $90 in Costco, I think that's a terrible, terribly priced and a bit of a ripoff, if I'm completely honest. We also have a couple of local brands here in Colorado. We have Accent Oak Distillery out of Colorado Springs for $32. And we also have Breckenridge. So this is kind of like a Broncos throwback. Oh, no, I say Broncos branded one for $32.99. It's only a dollar difference. But if I was to buy between one of these two, so Breckenridge just got brought out not so long ago by Tilray. They own uh, like some cannabis related things. They own Blue Point Brewing, they own Shock Top. And recently, they also run Green Flash Brewing into the ground, which is why I would skip that. They've sold out, I think it was like 109 million they sold for, so that's not really a local whiskey anymore. But this Accent Oak one is definitely worth the value for money. I think for 32 bucks, it is 46% ABV or 90 proof. So definitely a really nice all day sipper. And for $32, I think that kind of ties in with our budget quite a lot. And again, you're supporting something local here in Colorado. It has one goal, the San Francisco Spirit Awards in 2022, but uh, you know, I don't really take much notice of that. I think that even with that award, or even without that award, it's still very good whiskey and good to add to the other two bottles we have already. They also have some more Yellowstone here, 33.99. This is the bourbon whiskey, not the single malt, 46.5% ABV. Uh, 093 proof we could get that however I don't want to pass on that because they have this blade and bow and the 37.99 yes it's a little bit more than 33.99 I really think that this is excellent value for money especially here at Costco even other places for $45 for the MSRP I still think that's really good it is out of the Stitzel Weller the old well, Stitzel Weller distillery in Louisville Kentucky and they also have these keys on the side where you like collect the numbers of keys I don't know if you can see that on camera here but it's, I think this is numbered three. I think they go up to something like five or maybe even 10. And if you can collect them all, you'll send them back to the distillery. And I think that they have like a special cup that you can use whilst you're at the distillery there. However, even without the tato, we're gonna get this anyway for $37.99 and get this into the cut. Also as well, if you like your rum, they have a 1.75 litre Kirkland Signature Caribbean rum. Like how the heck can they get a 1.75 litre rum to you for $13.99 and still make money? This has to be a loss for them. It's so big, so heavy, that the transportation costs alone with the glass, with the labeling must be more than that price. But yeah, that's just insane value for money. And maybe looking into the rye here, they have Bullet Rye, 1.75 litre for $45.99. It is the MGP mash bill, I believe, which is why it's called the Bullet 95 Rye. It is the 95% rye mash bill, which is really funny, even though this is coming out of 45% alcohol and 90 proof, a lot of people go wild for like the smoke wagon stuff, which is the same mash bill for the most part, and they're willing to pay $100 for a regular size bottle but this one's 1.75 litre for 45.99. Yes, it's proofed down a little bit, but it's basically the same juice. Maybe they can pull some honey barrels and whatnot, but it's exactly the same mash bowl. So do yourselves a favor, don't chase the $100 smoke wagon at bottles and other bottles that distilleries mark up. Just get one of these bad boys from Costco, $46, and you'll be happy every day of the week. So we're gonna get this 1.75 litre, and then we're just gonna review the bottles that we have so far already. So, so far we have five good bottles of whiskey here. We got the nice finished Sagamore rye. We really like that. Kind of like an everyday bourbon we can pick up and it's pretty easy to drink, stress-free if you like, in the Dickel aged eight year bourbon. And something that's you know, a little bit fancy, something that we can enjoy maybe on a special occasion or a weekend. And that is a Blade and Bow Stitzel and Well uh, bourbon whiskey. And then we also have something like uh, craft that we have local something local and crafty in the accent oak distillery bourbon whiskey and then lastly we also have kind of like an everyday catch-all rye where we went for the big boy the 1.75 liter mgp 95 rye frontier rye whiskey so so far we have five balls and the best part is we're only two-thirds of the way through our budget we have one third left so we're going to do a little bit more shopping i think we can pull out some gems here so let's go and take a look if you like your big canadian whiskey they have Crown Royale 1.75 liters here with the big old big box inside and uh, bag. 1.75 liter Crown 4130 is excellent, excellent value for money. But if you want something a little bit cheaper, 
that you can get the Kirkland Signature Crown Royale for $18.99, kind of like the spice rum that they had. This is just insane value for money, and I think we're gonna get it, because it's a bit of a crowd pleaser. It kind of looks exactly like Crown Royale, and it is aged six years, 40% ABV or 80 proof. You can mix it with Coke, put it in any cocktail, really, and I think it'll stand up. Canadian whiskey is generally a little bit sweeter. Sometimes it can be a bit more grain forward, uh, so I don't particularly like it neat, but for a mixer for $18.99, you can't really go wrong. And if we shimmy over here to the right, they have Maker's Mark 46 cast strength for $58.99, which isn't too bad. This is like the new label that they just redid. Proof on this is 110.3 proof, and we could definitely get that. But I kind of want to see what else they have here. They have the Woodford Reserve 1.75 liter, selected by Master the Distiller proof. So it's like the distiller select. It's not a single barrel. I guess maybe there's like a small batch that he selects and sends this way. 45.2% ABV or 90.4 proof for $60 is excellent value for money again for Woodford. You can drink this all day long and come in as good proof. We're not going to get that. Uh, we're going to keep looking here. They have the 291 Distiller Select Barrel Proof here out of Colorado Springs. I think this is 62.8% alcohol, 125.7. This is batch 3 and it's 68.99. For 68.99, that's just excellent value for money for this bottle of whiskey. But it's still quite expensive for what I want right now. I have tried their maple finish one, which is not too bad. It's also finished in aspen wood staves and then finished in an old maple syrup barrel. And it's some of the same proof and same ABV, but for $68.99, if you want to get one of these 291s, I would start with this one because usually these are about $100 in store. So I do think that's good value for money, but not what we're going to get. We also have some old elk out of Fort Collins, Colorado, the wheated bourbon single barrel. The wheated bourbon is some of my favorite stuff from old elk. And for $69.99, the price is right. 56.8% ABV or 113.6 proof. We also have a limited, a, a limited left or a limited amount left of the of Jeff, Jefferson's Ocean, 45% ABV and 90 proof for $69.99. That's a pass from me. I think Jefferson's Ocean is just really, really gimmicky, so I'll pass on that. We also have a Bardstown Discovery series. So this is the Discovery 7, so that's 31% Kentucky, 25% Kentucky, 21% Canadian Ontario, 15% MGP, and then 8% likely Dickel. Uh, for $119, that's as cheap as you'll find that probably anywhere. It's just gonna blow our budget completely apart. They also have some Maker's Mark here for $41.79 for an absolute huge bottle. This stuff will last you forever. A wheated bourbon as well, so it kind of ticks that box. We're not going to get that because we've already got a hand, few handles of a few things here. They have Angel's End, these Kentucky Straight Bourbon, the one that's finished in port barrels, the regular offering at 43.3%. I would skip that. Uh, I want to get something a little bit unique here, which is why I think we should go for the Suntory World Whiskey. So this is a blend of Japanese, Irish, Scotch, and Canadian and American whiskies, coming in at $49.99, which is excellent value for money. I think we picked ours up for about $50, so that's a great price for that. Uh, it's really nice tasting, really interesting. It's super, super more like scotch, uh, like a sweeter scotch. Reminds me of Campfire from High West. So we're going to get that, and then we're going to see how much money we have left in our budget to see if we can just get anything else here. So I've done the math, and we have about $25 left to play with. This would just take us over budget here, this Kirkland Irish Whiskey. There's not too much that we haven't already bought that would keep us in budget, but just because I want to get something or diversify a little bit here. I think I'm gonna go for this Kirkland Signature Blended Scotch Whiskey, 1.75 liter for $19.99. As you can see, that is 40% ABV or 80 proof, and it is Alexander Murray & Co. Limited from Aberdeen, Scotland, matured in American oak casks. It's crazy that they can get distillate from Scotland, bottle it, label it, bring it all the way over here and then get on the shelf for $20. That's insane. Uh, obviously, we don't quite know what this is like, but for $20, I think it's definitely gonna be worth taking a stab on, especially if we have some folks who like to drink scotch. Maybe this isn't gonna be up this street because it is pretty cheap, but maybe for the armchair scotch fan, they might not be able to tell the difference here. So let's have a little look at what we got, and let's go from here and see what else they have available from Costco. 
So as you can see, we have all this whiskey for just under $300. It's just spilling over right now. I haven't even got enough places to put it. So let's go through some of it here. So we got the Accent Oak from Colorado Springs, kind of like the craft whiskey, bourbon whiskey, if you like. Super excited with that. And then I'm gonna have to put some down here just to make room. We have the Sagamore Rye, the Sherry Finish Fin, one which we're super excited about as well. $65.99, it's a little bit up there in cost. Maybe our most expensive one today, and I think it was, but definitely a bougie bottle. I think worth every penny there. And then we move from that, we picked up the Frontier 95 Ride, 1.75 liter big boy. Uh, this is just the MGP 95 five blend of rye and malted barley excited about that you can pick this bottle up any time of the week from anywhere but at costco it was excellent value for money then we went with george dickel bourbon whiskey aged eight years for like 25.99 which is just pure insanity if you think about it yes dickel dickel are normally a little bit cheaper value for money but still it's a bourbon whiskey and it's aged eight years i think that's a great bottle that we can pick up any day of the week then we went with the Canadian whiskey. Yes, we went with this bottle. Even though it's uh, Kirkland, you know, Kirkland do some good products. They are known for the Kirkland vodka, it's supposed to be like as good as Grey Goose. And this Canadian whiskey is something that my surprise a few people. For me, it kind of just tastes almost exactly the same as Crown. And for like $30 left, this is like $15.99 for a 1.75 litre. We couldn't say no. And that kind of takes a different genre of whiskey, if you like. And then we went with another Kirkland product. We didn't buy all Kirkland, but there's definitely value for money at Costco to be had in their Kirkland products. This is their blended Scotch whiskey, uh, distilled and matured in Scotland for $19.99 for a 1.75 litre bottle. I do like Scotch, I haven't tried this one, but within our budget of $300 for 1.75, we couldn't say no. And then we went around the world with Suntory World Whiskey. So this is a blend of Japanese, uh, Irish, Scotch, American, Canadian, and uh, again, it's just a beautiful i've had this i've reviewed it it's on the channel really unique whiskey has some like flavor profile notes very similar with campfire whiskey from high west if you know about that whiskey uh, it's like a smoky sweet and a little bit spicy you don't pick up much of the irish and japanese i feel like that takes a back a little bit by some of the more abrasive scotch flavors but still it comes together really nicely and for 49.99 an absolute steal and then lastly we went with blade and bow this is out of the old stitzel weller distillery in louisville kentucky and i think this is 35 $5.99. It has that Tata key. Don't forget that it can get you access to your cup down in Stitzelwell if you ever should go. And I have a friend who loves this stuff and he can't get it in Utah. So anytime I go, I take him a case of this because he loves it. And where do I go to get it? I get from Costco if they have it because that price for $35.99 is unbeatable. And we are done and we are finished here at Costco on what was a pretty crazy Cyber Monday day. All in all, I'm pretty happy about the haul that we got coming in at right around $300. I could have, you know, switched some stuff out for like the Elijah Craig or the Woodford or uh, the big makers, but I think we're just kind of split in hairs for that. That is something that you can get if you were to do a $300 haul yourself. I think overall, I would like to have got some allocated stuff. Maybe some of the higher end scotch might be hard to find, but maybe not necessarily allocated. I know that they didn't have any allocated bourbon whiskey here today, and they generally don't at this location. I've seen some in like other states, but I think it's just because Colorado's transitioned to actually let supermarkets sell alcohol. When I say alcohol, I mean like liquor because they've never done that up until a few years ago where they voted that in so I think we're slowly starting to see that and don't be thinking that you can get into any lotteries or uh, any luck with BTAC here because I've never seen them I remember there was an old BTAC photo and Pappy photo that was floating around the internet and showed uh, just like a stall with a bunch of all sorts of Pappy and BTAC actually looked like it wasn't too long ago maybe like 10 years ago but you're not going to find that in Colorado so overall happy with everything how everything went if you liked the video if you like what we do at Costco uh, uh, maybe we can do one more in the future. I don't want to kill it. Uh, we did one before and you guys seem to really like it. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't already, go over to the Whiskey Cove's website and sign up for the free giveaway as we hit 5,000 free subscribers for your chance to be within to win an excellent bottle. So as you drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time, cheers.